from humble beginnings. I do think that where I grew up, being from a regional part of Australia, has given me a huge appreciation for a lot of the things that I then also try and make stories about. I have always wanted to pursue the arts, and particularly in film and television ever since I can remember, really. I looked at it as being something that you could really make a difference in the world for a positive um, impact on people's lives, and I've kind of been in it ever since. When I look to who has inspired me is Sir David Attenborough and Matthew Pavlich. David obviously is the biggest advocate in the world as a filmmaker and I come from the country. I grew up in the country from regional WA and so footy was a huge part of my childhood. And so looking at who were some of the best leaders and best examples on screen were professional athletes. And I just see a lot of similarities in what it means to be a captain of a football team as it does to be a director. So I founded White Spark Pictures in 2017 and that was to be able to tell important stories and go into industries and fields that not many people in Perth were doing, such as virtual reality. Technology is changing all the time and we're often inventing new technology in order to handle our projects and it means that projects often go um, above and beyond what they would normally because we're in that space. When I first started at ECU, I thought I was definitely going to be in the drama space. I was directing drama, but I just feel like I can be way more effective as a creative in the factual space. And that was something that I learned throughout the process and after I left ECU. My most excited I've ever been for a project was obviously the Antarctica experience. Uh, I had always been fascinated with Antarctica. Um, it means a lot to me in terms of what we were covering and then what we were delivering. It was a world first in so many ways, technology wise, access wise, how we filmed the project. And then just being able to go to a place like Antarctica and be trusted to tell a story as important as that and have that then be seen by the masses. It just had everything for me. Our current film is documenting one of the largest scientific endeavours ever undertaken in human history. So we are documenting the SKA, the Square Kilometre Array. It's going to be the world's largest radio telescope and they anticipate that they're going to find 70 million new galaxies that have never been before discovered. <laughs>